Hello. This week we're going to be talking about local government in Texas. And since Texas is so large, um, understanding local government requires some knowledge of the many types of government organizations. So in this video, we're going to briefly discuss some of these different government organizations and describe the functions of each. This video is not exhaustive. Um, because it's a micro lecture, it will be short, but it will give you a better idea as to some of the forms of government that you're going to be reading about in your textbook and talking about on the discussion board. So Texas has many different local government entities, including 254 counties, 1,214 cities, 2,600 special districts, such as water authorities and parks, and 1,079 independent school districts. Counties are known as general purpose governments due to the many different functions they perform. Counties serve the dual purpose of providing government service for the benefit of the residents and administrative services on the behalf of the state. Major government services that counties provide include road construction and maintenance, jails and courts, welfare, health, and law enforcement, things that we consider to be important in our day-to-day -day lives. Administrative services that are performed by counties as agents of the state include things like voter registration and motor vehicle licensing. So you can see that counties really provide many of the services that we expect on a day-to-day -day basis in our lives. In contrast to counties, schools in many types of special districts are known as single-purpose government since they usually just perform one function. So school districts, perform the function of education. That's why they're a single purpose government. Most special districts serve a limited geographic area and were created because of the inability of the government to provide a particular service. So in the situation where Texas government wasn't providing something that the citizens needed, oftentimes a special district will be created in order to provide those particular um, services. What is most important about all these government entities is their administrative and taxation powers. Since special districts are by far the most common type of local government in Texas, it's important that we understand how they work. Education is by far the most commonly recognized form of special districts. In addition to the 1,108 independent school districts or ISDs, there's one municipal school district, 1,050 junior college, community college districts, and technical training schools. So in this brief video, you can see that there are many different forms of local government in Texas, and every person has come into contact with local government at one point or another. As you read through the material for this week, think about your own experience with local government and what you thought about the government you interacted with. Have a great week and email me with any questions.